Well, do you enjoy the Psalms as much as I do? I think it's a wonderful, wonderful book of Scripture. I think God somehow put it right in the middle of the Bible. If you open your Bible about halfway, you'll probably be somewhere in the book of Psalms. And I think maybe God put that there so we can find it easily because it's so good. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional. And I was reading Psalm today, as I often do, because I can oftentimes find comfort. I can find inspiration. I can find direction for my life. I can find hope. There's just so many things that minister to us from the wonderful collection of Psalms. But I was thinking about this scripture that I shared here. Your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. And if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Isn't it wonderful that uh, we can know that we're on somebody's mind? You know, God always has us on his heart and mind. When I think about how I like for people to think about me once in a while, I open this Bible and I find a picture of a little country church. This is dated 9-22-04, so I've had it about 16 years now. It's Sunnyday, Sunnyvale Baptist Church on Highway 80, just off of Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. And it's signed Merle and Jodell Ward Vacation. And then it's inscribed for our dear friend and pastor, Charles Hayton. Now, Merle and Jody knew that I liked churches. I, everywhere I go, I like to take pictures of churches. I like especially country churches and small town churches. I don't particularly care about taking these edifices that look more like an auditorium than a church. I still think a church ought to look like a church. That's just an old man thinking here. But I think about, they know that I like churches and I do enjoy Sometime if I have time, I don't have much of it anymore, but I used to just get off the beaten path and go through the small towns and rural areas and take pictures of churches. I started counting the pictures I had one time years ago, and I got over 500 and quit counting. Said I'd like to have a thousand before I die, and I was afraid I was getting close to a thousand, so I really don't know how many I have, but... I'm glad that they brought that picture to me because, hey, I was on their mind, even while they were on vacation. I ran across a little video on Facebook yesterday. Uh, one of our church people uh, came out in his vehicle. There's a, a oil that was perched on his rearview mirror, and he was putting on quite a show. Well, of course, Vicky said I had James put that on there because... I was thinking about you. Well, they know I like birds. They know I like to watch the birds. And they know they tell us men folk that if we really want a happy wife, and we all know a happy wife is a happy life. And so they tell us that if you're out and about, you ought to just pick up a little something for your wife, take it home to her. Doesn't have to be very much. It doesn't have to cost much. Just take it home and she'll know that you were thinking about her while you were out. And uh, there's just so many ways that we are pleased when we know that somebody is thinking about us. And I'm glad to know today that I'm on God's mind. I believe that God has me on his mind throughout every day. And if I'm on his mind, then he knows what I am pleased with. If I'm on his mind, he knows what I need. If I'm on his mind, he's got some plans to minister to me in some way. So I'm so glad to know that his thoughts toward me are more than can be numbered. I just like to think about somebody has me on their mind. And I believe that we can know that being on the mind of God, he only has good things for us. He wants to take care of us. He loves us and he cares for us. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for the thoughts that You have toward us. Thank Thee, Lord, that we know best of all that while You were on the cross, we were on Your mind. You died for us, and we know, Lord, that You live to minister to us, to show Your love in so many ways. 
Bless us now, keep us down throughout the journey of life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Light's Devotional with Pastor Aiton. Goodbye now.